Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be continuing my series with my liquid lipstick um, wear with check-ins videos. And today's brand is going to be the requested Sephora brand. Um, when I went into Sephora, I noticed they do have two different kinds that are saying long wear lip color. Um, I think this one might be new. This is their Luster Matte. It's called the Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color, and then this is the one that I think everyone was originally talking about. I got it in the color Polished Purple. Um, I, everyone told me to try that mauve one, but that has been sold out online and in stores, so I got this purple because I think it's a really pretty color. I don't have anything like this in my collection. After I film this, I'm going to do a haul video, so you'll see this outfit twice. <laughs> First, like always, I exfoliated my lips before I did my makeup with my Eva Anderson Lip Scrub. And then I moisturized with this Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm. I'm just gonna wipe the excess of that off. So now I'm just gonna line my lips, and for that I'm going to use Max Night Moth. This is actually going to be a first impressions of this product too because I just took the wrapper off of this. I have not tried either one of the Sephora brands yet. So I'm very hopeful. They've gotten a lot of good reviews. Now I'm just gonna fill my lips in. This is a bit much for the middle of the day, but I'm gonna rock it anyway. Um, now I'm just going to go on and clean up the edges. I'm just going to tap my MAC 195 pointed concealer brush into some Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the shade 1.0 and to make sure I don't have too much and just line the outside. So you guys know the drill if you've been watching this for any amount of time. I'm going to do my first check-in in four hours and then I will do one more check-in four hours later so the lipstick has a total of eight hours wear. Um, I will not touch up my lips at all. I will not be applying a lip gloss or anything. I will leave them as is. Right now it is 12.09. I'm going to give a check back in four hours. So I'll see you guys at around four o'clock. Bye. Hey guys, so it is 4.14. It's four hours after application. This color is like a metallic-y kind of finish. This is wearing pretty comfortably. Um, it's not like really drying out my lips. Again, I think it is really important to exfoliate and moisturize and then remove that moisturizer before you put these down, any liquid lipstick. Um, it's not bleeding. I will zoom in so you guys can see the wear. Okay, there we go, guys. So a little bit, it's fading on this inside part. But I mean, not really. I'm just a little on the outside. Honestly, the outside is probably just, I should have gone in with a lip liner brush to really get precise over the lip liner that I had on. Um, so that was my fault. But currently it is still holding up really well. I have drank some water out of a straw, so my lips have not been on anything. But someone's been passing around that Facebook post that's like the grilled cheese wrapped in bacon and I'm gonna have to make that tonight. I mean, I don't know why I've been craving, like I want like crinkle fries with cheese on top and just like the worst food for me ever. And no, I am not pregnant. I have no idea why, but I've been like in this junk food craving. I'm probably dehydrated. You know, they say when you're really dehydrated, you get like cravings or things. I probably need to drink a lot more water. Anyway, I did just realize that when I first put this on, I didn't let you know my impression of it. It does go on very pigmented. It does go on. It's not super creamy. If anything, I would say the formula really reminds me of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, which is a distinct possibility because Sephora does own the Kat Von D brand, um, even though she's the face of the company they own the product formulation it's, so it's very distinct possibility that these could be the same formulas I'm not quite sure um so I am going to give you guys a check back in in another four hours before I take this off so I'll see you guys in a little bit hey guys so it is 725 right now um, it should be in another half hour but I am making like a disgusting sandwich for dinner right now and I wanted to show you this so it was fair before I start shoving a sandwich in my mouth. Um, and then I'll check back in maybe one after I'm done so you can see lipstick all over my face. Um, this is held up really well. I really do like this color because it's kind of like a metallic color. It has worn off on the inside of my lip a little. Um, I drank um, an iced coffee. I'm gonna zoom in to show you the wear. Okay, if you guys can see like right here on the inside of my lips, it's faded a little on the outside, but not much. I'm gonna show a picture right now of the sandwich I'm making that was like going around on Buzzfeed. 
it's on the stove right now, so I do have to go and check it, but I will be back after I eat and I will give you my closing thoughts on these. Okay guys, it is 8.02. Um, if you can't tell, my phone is like super greasy. I think that sandwich like cured any kind of junk food craving I have had. I had like two or three bites of it and I felt sick, so it's a lot of bacon. This actually held up well. I wiped it off my chin because I did get it on my chin from eating the sandwich. I'll zoom in to show you the wear. If you can see in here, it's kind of all worn off right here and it's gotten a little lighter in patches around the outside right here. All in all, this is amazing wear, um, especially given the cost. So the price for the Sephora lip cream stains is $13 and that is for 0.169 ounces of product. Um, they do have 14, 14 colors and plus one other one that's on like a clearance sale so they might be discontinuing in that. So altogether 15, but 14 that are not on sale. I'm really impressed with the wear. It has remained very comfortable on my lips. And again, this is where it wore off. I mean, I was chowing down on a sandwich covered in bacon. So, I mean, it lasted pretty well. So next up, I will do the Sephora Luster brand and then I will start working on the other ones. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.